friends. Welcome back to my channel. Sass here. I'm here for another 90 day fiance before the 90 days. It's almost over y'all. It's almost over child. They didn't even need to show everybody leaving because this is the leaving episode. And then we go into the first part of the tell all. So this is the leaving episode. This is where everybody is going, you know, back home. Let's start off with Mike and Amina. Oh, there's Mike. As you know, Mike is not wanting to leave. Amina said, you got to go. You have to go. So here's Mike lingering around, packing up his stuff. And so Amina, the sister and the mama is there. All this crying's not flying. Here's Mike packing up his stuff. Here is Mike going down the stairs. There's the mother. The mother's like, both of y'all are hurting. Amina is like, hmm, why he's still here? <laughs> Mike says, is it okay if I come back tomorrow to tell everyone bye? I'm sitting there thinking, right there's the mama. The kids are up. You can tell them bye right now. Just leave, Mike. He says that he's so sorry. <sighs> Amina's tired of it, y'all. Mike finally leaves, goes to the hotel. Time for him to go home. He says that he's hurting because, you know, they were together for a year. He, you know, loved the uh, boys. He called Amina before he left to see if he can go over there to tell everybody bye. Amina says, no. No. If you want to say bye to the boys, right there they are. Say it over the phone. It was so funny. Y'all remember when the boys was like, we love Mike. We love Mike. Danny Mike. Mike's going to be our father. And so Mike is telling the boys bye. You know, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to love you. And the boys are like, see you. The boys didn't give two F's. So, <clears throat> Mike is home. Amina is doing an interview. Mike texts her and says, now mind you, Mike is the one that says that Amina used him for money. She never loved him. She's a user. It was all about the money. Mike text Amina saying, I'll pay your rent. Oh, I'll pay your rent. Just so you can feel secure. Really, Mike? Because, see, at the beginning, it made it seem like Amina wasn't nothing but a gold digger. But then we found out that you knew that she was a cam girl. Not only that, you found her there. Not only that, you told her to quit her job so you could take care of her. See, we found out all this stuff. And now you're sending a text talking about you want to pay her rent. So then she calls him. And she was like, oh, so now you want to pay my rent. Mike was like, I want to pay your rent. I want you to feel secure. I love you. And so first she was like, let me think about it. Then she was like, no, I don't want anything from you. I don't want anything from you. Then she was like, I got some things to think about. And she hung up. Mike out here looking like a whole fool. See, Mike out here wanting us to think that he's some type of victim. He's not. And somebody on Twitter put it perfectly i mean worded it better than i ever could let me pull it up this is what mika 208 put on twitter i'm glad amina revealed that they met on a campsite and he was the one who told her to quit and he would financially support her this man had us thinking that she was a gold digger taking advantage of him mike is a professional victim at his big age boom I couldn't have put it no better. 
Exactly right. Exactly right. Still acting a shine. Still acting foolish. As I said before, Mike deserves everything that's coming his way. I don't feel a bit sorry for him. Let's move on. Now, let's talk about Hamza and uh, Memphis. This ain't going to take long. It's time for her to leave. It's time for her, her to leave. As we know, she's pregnant. They're married. You know, Mama Hamza's crying. Sister's upset. Honey, they, they, they got fond of Memphis. They became fond of her. They really liked her. And Memphis likes them. And um, Hamza's family seems cool as hell. So, like I said, Hamza and Memphis seems like that they on a good, good roll right now. We shall see. So it's time to leave. Hamza Memphis, you know, cries not fly. Off she goes. Let's talk about Gino and Jasmine. Time for Gino to leave. Jasmine, cries not flying, honey. Now we know what they went through. All kinds of fights and fusses. But they made it. And it's time for Gino to go home. Huggy, huggy, kissy, kissy, he go. As I said, the leaving episode. Let's talk about being stupid self. Here's Mahogany. They're at the park. Mahogany don't walk away from Ben once again. Ben is confused by this. Why does she keep walking away? Why don't she want to talk about her inconsistencies in her stories? But then we see Ben, 50-some-year-old Ben, following her. Chasing her. She comes getting into a vehicle. God bless you. He's trying to talk to her. She's like this. He kneels down. She jumps out of the car. And he was like, Mahogany, you don't have to leave, Mahogany. Get back in the car. Get back in the car. I'm not going to get in the car with you. She's like, Lord have mercy. She's walking around the car. She kind of talking about, I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to be with him. Producers are saying, are y'all going to be together? She says, God, no. <laughs> We're not going to be together. Are you going to get married? For God's sake, no. I don't want to have nothing to do with this man. That's what Mahogany's saying at that point in time. So, he has some stuff in the trunk. She was like, tell him to get his stuff in the trunk and take his feet to the street. Or I should say, the sidewalk. Ben, aren't you tired? Ever since you have been on this trip, you have embarrassed yourself and everybody that you love. You know your kids gonna see this, right? See, this is my thing. When these people get on these reality shows, their whole family is gonna see this. Your kids is seeing this. Your ex-wife is getting a good old laugh over this, honey. So he's like, I don't even think she even loved me. I don't understand what the big problem is about her age and why she lied to me. Why can't I question her about it? You can question her about it all day long. Don't mean she's going to listen to it. And can I just say, when they went on that doom trip, why didn't he bring up all this then? That would have been the perfect time. He brought it up. She said that she don't remember all this, and he keeps on talking about it. So he's sitting there looking like a fool on a stool with all of his luggage on the sidewalk. She done left. He said this has been a disappointing, terrible trip. He's heartbroken. This is the girl that he loves. And then he says something stupid like, but who knows, we may have a chance. <laughs> And Usman, Kim gone. And here's Usman, honey. Usman done got him on the little shirt showing his chest. He done put on some cocoa butter. And he said, I gotta find out one more thing. So he does a video chat to Zara. Ain't she pretty? 
See, there's Zara. And then there's Kim. Zara. And then there's Kim. One more time, friends. Zara. And then there's Kim. That's all I got to say on that. So Usman says that he wants to know where Kim, um, um, Zara's head is at. Is there any way possible we can have a relationship? Because, see, she ended it. You miss me? You miss this? And so Zara was like, oh, well, you know, where, where your head at? See, where is your head? I miss you, but where's your head at? So, Usman, he's looking at Zara, and he got this little feeling. He said, I ain't never felt like any woman the way I felt like, the way I feel towards Zara. Is that right? Because, see, in Kim's mind, it's just her. So, he goes inside. He's laying on that bed. He's wearing the necklace that Kim have given him. And he's singing this song. The Zara song, child. I said this. This is the last time. After the second part of the reunion, after this season, I will no longer be talking about Usman. I'm done with Usman, y'all. He's absolutely ridiculous. This is all for TV. This is all for show. He don't have no feelings for Kim. Because if he did, he wouldn't be up there talking to Zara. And why is it that we just not seeing Zara? Let's now, let's on. talk about this tell-all child. All right. The only ones that looked decent was Memphis and Hamza. Mike. He at least had on a little suit. Gino looked a mess, okay? Kim looked a mess, all right? Ella looked a mess. Jasmine, Jasmine looked good, but I don't know who told her to put all that hair in her head. Yo, was that a wig or was that weave? Because, honey, it looked hot. Boy, you know her, her scalp was just itching. Now, why she put all that in her hair? Jasmine's hair was already long. And th who did that, Jasmine? Your head look a mess. So, we have Mike and Gina. They done, you know, hooked up in the um, green room. And they're talking about how nervous they are because they know that when they sit down and start telling their stories, and they done embarrassed themselves, honey. Everybody gonna talk about it. Everybody. As they should be embarrassed. Then here comes not need Kim. Now, again, nobody on this stage needs to talk about anybody else. Because, see, we seen you. We seen how you all acted. So you can't be talking about what somebody else is doing. When you did the same or worse. So here's Kim. Now we done seen her cut a shot. Now went over there. Begging like he sweat. For Usman to have sex with her. We seen it. You done bought this man all kinds of gifts. He done embarrassed you. You done threw water in his face. And here she is talking about. I have a problem with Amina. And I have a problem with Really, Kim? Who are you? Who are you? Boy, baby, honey, if I was Amina and Ella, I would check that heifer. Get her straight. Who are you? So, here comes um, Ella. And you know, Kim, she done side at her, got her nose up in the air like she belled her. And then here comes Ben. So they're all in the green room talking. And Ella is very nervous because she says, listen, I cheated. I did something terrible. So I know folks is going to come at me. But here I am. 
And then there's not need Kim giving her the eye. Then Kim side eyed out. You know, talking about her cheating. Now let me tell you something. I'm all for them digging up in Ella's ass for doing that to Johnny. I get it. Right message, wrong messenger. Now, it's time for everybody to get on stage. And we have Jasmine and Gino, Kim and Usman, Ella, Johnny, um, Hamza, he made it in uh, Memphis. And um, he's on stage with them. And um, Ben and Mahogany. So they're there and they're talking. And again, everybody got something to say about everybody. And yo, did I hear this right? Did Mike say that him and Hamina were back together? I said Mike is already up on his delusional. I said, I know I didn't hear that. So, the majority of this was about Gino and Jasmine, Kim and Usman. So, let's talk about Gino and Jasmine. Gino don't learn, does he? Gino does not learn. Apparently, y'all know Ben's friend, what's her name, Jennifer? I think that's her name, not sure. But apparently, Gino was messaging Jennifer. So, Sean, who's the host, and she looked so pretty. I love that um, outfit she had on. And her hair is always done. So, she looked really good. And so, Sean says, Gina, let me ask you something. <laughs> Have you been messaging somebody here? You know, some of the cast members. And he was like, uh, uh, no. Sean said, let me repeat the question. Are you telling me you have not been messaging any of the cast members? Uh, I mean, we talk. I mean, you know, we, we talk, but no. Uh -uh. Let me, let me, let me break it down for you. Have you messaged, DM'd any friends of the cast members? There he go, going cross-eyed. And here's Jasmine. Gino, Gino, the way you're showing asking you these questions, Gino, I hate a liar. I hate a liar, Gino. Why is Sean asking you these questions, Gino? I hate a liar. <laughs> so here's Gino fumbling, stuttering. Come to find out that he done DM'd Ben's homegirl talking about, hey, are you Sicilian? And so the homegirl said, LOL, no, but my husband is Italian. See, see, the word is husband. Cut it off at the knees. So then Gino says, well, she contacted me first. And Sean said, I'm going to need some receipts. I'm going to need some receipts. Of course, Gino don't have no type of receipt. Gino was like, I ain't got no receipts. I don't know where that's at. I don't know. This is the same man who keeps emails from 2014 but you don't have this receipt i smell a lie honey gino was just up on that stage line 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 though for some reason they wanted to go into the sets of gino and jasmine Jasmine said that she loves the bump 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 see jasmine loves to have her blown out and she says that she loves to have her back blown out from Gino she said Gino was good with it I said Whoa. but she said that they were together a month and only had sex a one time here's Gino that's not true Jasmine said it is true that's not true it is true why don't you tell him, Gino? Why don't you tell him how your bulls is filled up, Gino? Tell him how your bulls are filled up. I said, what are we talking about? So apparently, Jasmine wanted her back blown out. Gino couldn't or didn't or didn't want to because he had already relieved himself. She sees it as cheating. <laughs> Sean said, Jasmine, why do you see 
masturbation as cheating. Because I'm here. Why would you masturbate when you got this? You don't want me, Gino? You don't want me? So, of course, Gino, he's stuttering and stammering about an explanation as to why he's masturbating and not blowing out her back. So, Sean said, how did y'all meet? How did you meet Jasmine? Here's Gino lying again. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Gino! Gino, why are you lying? Why are you lying, Gino? Tell him where we met, Gino. Tell him where we met. Jasmine was having a fit over there with all that hair. And so Gino says, oh, yeah, I remember. That's right. Yeah, I remember now. Uh, sugar daddies. So Jasmine and Gino done met on Sugar Daddies. That little site where men pay for women for sex or dinner or whatever. Gino was trying to explain it. But he just kept digging his hole deeper. Gino's a whole clown out here. So Sean, she had enough of Gino and Jasmine. Jasmine done took off her ring. She was like, I don't even want to wear this ring. Girl, I wouldn't wear it anyway. That cheap ring. So she moved on to Kim and Usman. Usman sitting up there looking foolish. Kim, she looks stupid. She's talking stupid. She sounds stupid. So... Her and Usman are somewhat together. She don't really talk to him that much since she's been back home. But of course, Kim is open, uh, you know, with a relationship with Usman. I think she still considers Usman her boyfriend. And then she says, listen, okay, I have feelings for him. This is who I love. Usman can talk about he loves her. Even though we seen him talking to Zara, which he did not tell Kim about. So Sean said, well, let me ask you something, Kim. Did you say that you are willing to have um, Usman have another woman? Two wives? And so here's Kim talking about, well, listen, I'm 51 years old. That's it. 51 years old, I can't have children, I have a child, and I don't want no more kids, but he wants to have children. And if he wants to go out there and get a woman pregnant, oh well. It's part of his culture, it's part of his culture. So everybody on stage is like, Lord have mercy. Memphis is like, girl no. Sean said, Memphis, you got something to say about this girl. Memphis says that, listen, I ain't trying to judge. It's your relationship, but my man ain't doing that. Hams ain't sleeping with no other woman just so he can have a kid. Nuh-uh. Not dad, not the mom, not ever. Nope. And so Kim is like, I know, I know. So Ella says something, and so here's Kim. Don't be talking about cheating. This is not cheating. You lied. You're a cheater. You lied. I'm fully aware of what's happening. I'm fully aware that he wants to, you know, have children. So that means he's going to have to get another woman pregnant. And then here's Usman. So here comes Kim's cutie son. I will say, Kim's son, Jamal, is a cutie. And you know what, Jamal? Good for you. Good for you for being a supportive son because we have seen your mama just cut a shine and she cut a shine on the stage. Even Jamal is like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? This is a mess. I don't, I, I don't want to have like really no type of relationship with Uzba. Now after seeing how you treated my mom. And so here comes Sean. She said, I got a clip for y'all. So Sean shows the clip of Usman calling Zara. And so Kim said, oh, so you called her. Oh, so you called her. You called her. So there's Kim getting her face cracked again, getting embarrassed again. Oh, for Usman, stupid.
stupid self. And so she gets emotional. She starts crying. And so Jamal is just like, Lord, have mercy. Mama, please leave this stage. And here's Jasmine. Oh, my God, Kimberly. I feel so bad for you. If I was there, I will hug you. Meanwhile, everybody said that like this. <laughs> so Kim is crying. Her feelings is hurt. You know, she's looking stupid. And so here's Usman. Kimberly, Kimberly, stop that. You stop that crying, Kimberly, Kimberly. Stop that crying, stop that crying, Kimberly. I mean, just the immaturity of this man. And you shedding tears over that. And so Jamal was like, hold up. Who are you clapping? You clapping like that towards my mama? Who are you clapping towards? See, what Jamal should have did was cuss Usman out. That's what Jamal should have did. Jamal should have cussed him from here to there, everywhere, and then said, Mama, we go. Let's go. This is enough. So Kim, she says she needs to, some time, you know, so she walks off the stage. Here's Usman. Kimberly, are you there, Kimberly? Kimberly, just, just, just a train wreck. But Kimberly want to talk about everybody up on that stage. And then Mike, he was trying to talk about everybody up on that stage. That's it, y'all. That's it. Y'all know what to do. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends. Bye!